Devin, with COVID hitting the area pretty hard right now, one of the biggest concerns is the increase of pneumonia cases referred to as COVID pneumonia. And here to tell us more about what to watch for and when to seek help is Nurse Christina Paris from the VA. Good morning, Nurse Christina. Hi, good morning. So what is pneumonia and how is the COVID pneumonia different? So pneumonia, okay, so let's talk about our lungs really quick. So when we breathe in, um, air goes, you know, down our esoph or down the trachea um, and into our lungs, and then it is exchanged through these really thin walls in our lungs, these um, sacs uh, of air into our bloodstream, and then it gets carried around through our body. So what happens with pneumonia is bacteria or viruses, um, or other kinds of germs can get in our lungs um, and cause issues. You know, we breathe these, these germs and viruses and bacteria in, and then they kind of fester and cause problems. So that's what pneumonia is. Um, you can have, you know, what people call walking pneumonia, which is a pretty mild form of pneumonia or community acquired, we call it. Um, but then there's something that, that is happening, we're seeing with patients who have COVID. So that virus is getting a little bit deeper and it's causing more problems. Typically with pneumonia, you can be treated, you know, it, and, and feel better within a few weeks. However, with this new COVID pneumonia, it's lasting months to recover from. Um, and, you know, just in thinking about how prevalent uh, COVID is up here, we have roughly 46 new cases weekly just in Oneida County alone. So 4,000 uh, new cases weekly in Wisconsin. And those are just the ones who are testing. So it's very prevalent here. Wow. And what types of symptoms are associated with COVID pneumonia? And how soon do they appear? So with COVID, you know, we've got the cough, the fever, the muscle aches, you feel crummy. Um, a lot of times people just think they have a cold. Oh, it's just a cold. Or I get this every year. It's just, um, but, but it might not be. It might be COVID. So you really want to get checked out. Some of the things that are different from the common cold is that you can have um, pink eye type of, you know, that crusty, icky eye stuff. Or you can have a loss of taste or smell. Now, when you are diagnosed with COVID or you just have, you know, you're feeling crummy and you have these cold and flu symptoms, if you start to have trouble breathing, per persistent like pain in, or pressure in your chest, um, you know, you know how you can kind of just feel when you're really sick and it's deep in your chest. Um, if you're being, you know, having new confusion, your inability to stay awake, your, um, or you're noticing your lips or nail beds are kind of blue or gray, or even really heavy sweating, you want to go to the ER and, and get evaluated because it, it's likely that you could have COVID. Again, too, with fevers, when we're talking about fever and chill, we want it to be greater than 100, 101, something like that. That's considered a fever. Um, 99 is not. And can this be prevented? I know like wearing masks can really help with limiting COVID exposure, washing your hands, staying indoors, staying away from other people. But are there other ways that you can prevent um, COVID pneumonia? So I, I know you and I had talked about um, be, before the show here this morning about the pneumonia shot. Now, while the pneumonia shot is great for other strains, it was it was developed before COVID. So it, it will not help with the COVID pneumonia, although it's still good to make sure you're updated with your shots. Um, you want to, um, you, you can go and talk to your doctor. If you have pneumonia, there's a good chance that they're going to treat you with some kind of an antiviral or an antibiotic. Um, you can also use over-the-counter stuff to relieve your cough and flu symptoms, um, rest, drink plenty of fluids, things like that. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for explaining the difference between pneumonia and COVID pneumonia. I think that really helped um, people understand what the differences are and what they can seek out when they start to see symptoms. So thank you so much for joining us this morning, Nurse Christina. You're welcome. Take care.